जय हिंद क्लास सो टुडे वील गो थ्रू द सेवन स्टोरी इन यूर ट्रेजर ट्रो सेक्शन दैट इज वी वी स्टार्टिंग द नेक्स्ट स्टोरी ऑफ यू टेंथ सिलेबस बिकॉज आई बिलीव फ्रॉम वट आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट क्लास स्टोरी इज वन टू सिक्स एंड पोएम वन टू सिक्स हैव बीन कम्प्लीटेड ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड इन योर क्लास नाइन्थ कोर्स पॉइंट ऑफ रिमेंबर दैट आई विल बी अगेन कम्प्लीटिंग दोज स्टोरीज एंड पोएम्स फ्रॉम स्क्रैच बिकॉज इट यू नीड अ थरो अ कम्प्लीट revision as if you are studying it for the first time for your class 10th as well so that you know uh, 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 you don't miss out something so but today uh, because in the previous uh, uh, classes we've taken for english literature we've taken the poem abu ben adam uh, which was a new, which is a new poem for you guys for course from the course of class 10th and we've taken another poem the heart of the tree which is a revision so this time let's start with the story called the little match girl and it's written by hans christian andersen so uh, hans actually he was a danish writer danish as in he was born uh, in denmark right uh, and usually uh, most of the stories uh, are uh, fantasy stories right regarding to fairy tales this story itself is a fiction uh, uh, and it reflects a certain uh, sadness towards uh, 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 the lack of compassion in the world there is a lost lot of uh, imagery and symbolism is uh, uh, used in this uh, story and very quite bu- beautifully and uh, in a very subtle yet very impactful manner uh, hans uh, christian andersen has ag- used uh, his uh, progress of the story in order to show to uh, uh, showcase uh, uh, the problem that we face Uh, uh the basic problem of uh, tr- not cruelty but rather the lack of compassion in humans uh, as the uh, as the society itself has uh, progressed and prospered so and the reason uh, one of the reasons uh, that hans christian andersen is uh, was known as a melancholy danish uh, mel- uh, uh, not melancholy danish uh, mm, uh, there is sp- there was a specific word it escapes my mind essentially it meant that he was a melancholic uh, writer uh the nish writer so the reason is that because uh, he himself in his life had faced a lot of uh, uh, loss and pain and even experienced uh, death excuse me <coughs> experienced uh, experienced a lot of pain and uh, loss uh, in his life earlier in his earlier life as a childhood and that's why most of his stories pertain to that particular subject So the little match girl again is a story about a little girl, as, as the title uh, suggests, a little match, a little girl who uh, usually sells matches in order to earn her living. But the, this night, the night of the New Year's Eve, the night, the the, uh, the evening and the night of the thirty first uh, December, uh, no, uh, sorry, twenty fourth of uh, December, because uh, they. Uh, um uh, they can um, uh, it would it, it was uh, uh, the celebration of uh, the ch- uh, jesus christ's birth that is christmas right and uh, how um, uh, uh, she was unable to sell any of the uh, uh, matches uh, in the, uh, this particular year and she was very cold she didn't have enough uh, food uh, she didn't had uh, she had no food and she didn't have enough warm clothes and she was feeling very cold and how she died uh, because of that and but hans Kish, the writer has expressed it in such a manner that you feel uh, you feel uh, sadness you feel a bit of pity for the girl but at the same time there is a, a certain closure that the writer provides to the readers and through the readers to himself as well right that uh, even though uh, you may feel sad pity for this girl even though the reality is quite harsh that the girl died due, due to hunger and cold right uh, she died in such a way uh, that it was satisfying because she died in a blaze of glory uh, um, uh, as the words have been used in the story so i will not be uh, completing the entire story of course in just uh, one class video otherwise it will be too long so uh, let's start i'll be completing about half of the story and then the other half will be, uh, i'll try to complete in the next uh, um, video class so the story starts with it with a description of the place it was bitterly cold snow was falling and darkness was gathering for it was the last evening of the old year it was new year's eve 
just remember new year uh, uh, from that particular era of time does not essentially means 31st december right over new years uh, uh, for uh, 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 the christians would be uh, um, uh, from uh, the end of the year for the christian would be the th uh, uh, 24th uh, of december because christmas they believe starts with the new year right it was bitterly cold it's not uh, bitterly as in it was harshly extremely cuttingly uh, cold right so cold that it uh, it felt like uh, it was quite painful just to expose your skin or to use uh, yourself uh, to the atmosphere and snow was falling and darkness was gathering snow was falling as in of course the snow uh, snowflakes were falling from the sky and darkness was gathering the writer is trying to convey that the evening is coming to uh, evening is coming about and and then uh, he gives the reason for it that it was the last evening of the old year it was new year's eve new year's eve remember new year's eve doesn't mean 31st december it essentially means the 24th of december in the story in the cold and gloom gloom means darkness in the cold and gloom a poor little girl walked bareheaded and barefoot bareheaded as in nothing on she was not wearing any scarf anything on her head and barefoot means she was not wearing any slippers any shoes to uh, 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 she was not wearing any uh, slippers or any foot uh, any uh, sorry any any shoes uh, to uh, uh, to protect her feet from the cold right through the streets and she was walking in such a condition through the streets she had been she had been wearing slippers it is true and when she left home but the, what uh, good were they they had been her mother so you can imagine how big they were the little girl had lost them as she ran across the street to escape from two carriages that were being driven terribly fast carriages means uh, 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 carts which are horse drawn Uh, so uh, uh, covered ca ca uh, carts uh, ca horse carriages in which people uh, which people used uh, uh, they used to use it in order to uh, transport themselves from one place to another and the, the poet says terribly fast means extremely fast one slipper could not be found and a boy had run off with the other saying that it would come in very handy very handy as in very useful as a cradle cradle is the small uh, 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 cot that is that is used uh, for a child to sleep in right it's a small in hindi it's called a palna right palna is cradle as a cradle some day when he had children of his own so uh, uh, the poet uh, sorry uh, the writer says that the she that the girl was wearing slippers it's true when she left home but it was not of which very, very much uh, of great use because the uh, it was it belonged to her mother and they were so big that she couldn't if, if you ever had wore any big slippers or shoes you uh, you, you will understand that it's quite difficult to manage uh, to walk let alone uh, run it's extremely difficult to walk in where Uh, very big uh, slippers because uh, slippers or shoes because they keep on you know uh, 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 change change they keep on change the change the uh, changing the position so it's uh, it's a bit uncomfortable so because they were her mothers uh, so you can imagine how big they were and the uh, uh, when uh, when the little girl was uh, running to save her life from uh, two from two carriages on the uh, streets on the road uh, which were being extremely fra which were being uh, driven extremely fast she lost both of those slippers one uh, could not be found she was unable to find it the other an, a, a boy a boy an unknown boy had taken it and saying that it would be very useful to uh, to be used as a cradle the slipper because it was so big it will be used as a, uh, it will be useful to use a, uh, use that slipper as a cradle uh, for uh, when the time comes when he has in his own children so let so the little girl walked about the streets on her uh, streets on her naked feet which were red and blue with the cold in her old apron she carried a great many matches and she had a pocket of them in her hand as well nobody had bought any from her and no one had given her a single penny all day she crept along shivering and hungry the picture of misery poor little thing so the little girl she was walk, she uh, she was she kept on walking uh, bare feet and the feet were red and blue because of the cold so the poet is trying to convey uh, the physical pain and the uh, physical pro, um, uh, uh, agony that uh, the girl uh, had uh, was going through right 
and there was an old old apron that she was wearing and they had ma many matches in it uh, in them uh, and one uh, in one packet of matches she was holding in her hand and uh, today nobody even uh, bought uh, any of the matches and nobody even gave um, uh, a single penny to her as charity you know uh, and uh, she crept along shivering and hungry shivering as in shaking with the cold and hungry and they, it, she appeared a pic perfect picture of misery as in she one would take a look at her and she one would know that this is what misery feels like this is what misery, misery looks like and then the uh, writer says poor little thing you have to understand, uh, understand the third and the fourth uh, paragraph in the story are quite uh, important because they describe the little girl and it is often in the board examinations to describe the little match girl so you will be using the th third and the fourth paragraph mainly uh, because it gives her the physical appearance what, what she was wearing what she was holding right and the third paragraph gives her physical appearance uh, as in her facial uh, her, her, it gives her, it describes her uh, hair uh, and how she looked the snowflakes fell on her long golden hair which curled so prettily about her neck but she did not think of her appearance now Lights were shining in every window and there was a glorious smell of uh, rose goose in the streets for this was New Year's Eve and she could not think of anything else. So the snow snowflakes kept on falling on her golden hair which very prettily in a very beautiful manner it curled around her neck but she was but the girl was because she was so cold and hungry she was not thinking about how she looked at that particular moment because everywhere around her while she was walking on the streets everywhere around her lights were shining in each and every house, uh, house in each and every window of uh, all the houses uh, and there was a glorious as in very beautiful very appetizing appetizing and it's very, very satisfying uh, glow smell of roast goose uh, was coming out of the street goose is a little bit of like a, uh, it's a it's it's a big duck with a long neck it's not a swan remember it's not a swan that i'm talking about it's a big duck uh, 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 it's a duck like uh, bird flightless bird but it has a bit longer neck and it usually uh, walks with a toddle right like that and uh, uh, you can find it uh, uh, around lakes and such as well and ponds as well so uh, uh, and there were and it's, uh, people use it uh, as in, in for example instead of roast chicken people use it as uh, uh, for roast goose as well so the, there was a smell of roast goose in the street and because every it was a new year's eve so it was a festival fest time of festivities people were spending money people were you know uh, cooking um, uh, delicious uh, roast goose in their houses and because she was cold and hungry all she could think when she saw the bright windows in the dark evening, when she saw the bright windows uh, which showed uh, the orange color coming uh, from, from inside the house of light and fire, she, all she wanted was to feel warm and to eat something. And that was tantalizing. It was teasing her from those, the situation is trying to tell you that it, she, she felt like she was being teased. Uh, from those houses because everywhere there was a, this uh, very appetizing smell of uh, rose goose and uh, every, off through all the windows when she saw light and uh, she, she was reminded of warmth and she felt she, she, she felt she, uh, uh, she desired it right no she, she desired it because she was feeling cold and hungry. So let's stop it over here. I was hoping to complete a bit more, but the first five minutes of the video, uh, six minutes of the video was, you know, um, uh, was used up in uh, the introduction to the story and the uh, uh, writer. So we'll continue that uh, the next uh, further up in the next uh, uh, class and videos. Uh, thank you, uh, class. I want you to study it properly. I'll be sending the assignment once we complete the entire. Uh, um, story. Thank you class.